Hey guys, Skip here. And uh, let me straighten the camera. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure if I have to do that. That should be pretty good. Um, got an unboxing to do. And these have something to do with it, but I'm going to set these off to the side for a second. Uh, I've been dabbling a little bit with the FPV. You know, I love the use of the monitors and stuff like that. Except the only problem with the monitors, unless you're under the shade of a tree or, you know, using the canopy from the back of your truck or you're under a canopy, or you've got a box or something that you can, you know, work, work through it, you really can't see much, you know, if, it, if it's too bright out. Uh, so I've tried goggles and stuff, uh, and I've got a pair of those, and they work great. You know, goggles are fine, uh, except I have a particular problem ever since I've had some back surgeries and, and having quit drinking almost five years now. Uh, I have some nerve damage, and it's resulted me with uh, uh, losing equilibrium. I'm not real good on ladders anymore. Uh, I'm a little over, I'll go to overshoot something, I go to grab something, sometimes I go a little bit too far, it's just I kind of... I have this weird feeling, but if I put goggles on, I, I lose the equilibrium and I'll, and I'll fall down. So if you've seen a couple of my past uh, FPV videos, I'm usually kneeling or, or sitting, you know, and that's sometimes uncomfortable if the ground's cold or wet. So uh, I, I saw these uh, uh, flight tested an excellent uh, review on these. So I just kind of thought, well, you know, for the price, I would take a, a look, see, and, and try them out. And I got them through Amazon. Uh, so, uh, I, got, I got them for a, a price deal too, 15% off. I, I don't know how long that sale will last. But this is the new Viper X, what is it? I, I that. Viper, the Viper uh, uh, TX, Viper, Viper FXTs. Uh, it's a combination goggle box type of system, I guess. It works as a monitor alone, standoff monitor. You want to hand it to somebody. Obviously, I'm going to put different antennas on it. Um, but you can take this part off here and have be able to see around underneath you, but it's still shaded. So that would help me, I think, with my equilibrium. You know, as long as I can see where I'm, I'm standing on something, you know, my peripheral vision will will help my balance and uh, still be able to see the screen and stuff to fly. And for uh, the normal $179 that I've seen this going for, and on Amazon, $169, uh, and they offer a 15% discount, um, which brings it down to about 150 bucks. So, I mean, you almost can't beat that. I mean, with my, I think I had 597 and points or something like that, so when I shopped out with my uh, store card, I applied those points. So I got it for like $143. So. Uh, Check it out um, if you want to. Remember, Amazon has an excellent uh, return policy. If you don't, if you're not happy with it in 30 days, you can return it. You know, full price. They don't, they don't qualm or anything. So, uh, whether it's been used or not, if you find you have a problem with it and you just don't like it, they'll take it back. If you tell them you don't like it, you know, you might have to repay pay the shipping. If there's something wrong with it, they'll pay the shipping. This is nice. It comes first off. It's in a nice protective box. We should even keep the box nice and not the carrier. This looks like really pretty sweet here, guys. It's uh, now again, you know, flight test and some of the other guys out there have done some excellent reviews on this, so I won't go in depth. But what I plan on doing is uh, looking into it and maybe at, you know checking out some of the stuff that, that weren't mentioned. And uh, you know, this is raw, so you're seeing it as I'm seeing it because I just got it. Literally, I was going to do a video on uh, the finishing up of the repair on the A-10 Warthog, uh, which will be sh following up shortly. But uh, I've been kicking these around for a, for a little while since I saw the review that Flight Test did with them, and then looking at a couple of the other uh, uh, deals. And it looked like they came with a pretty good, you know, pretty lot of stuff. And, and, very versatile in this. I really like the idea of being able to wear glasses with them as well. Uh, you, you know, people who wear, wear glasses can wear these. They don't have to worry about you know buying the different lenses to make it make them work and stuff like that. Comes in a nice cleaning cloth. Looks like an accessory bag up here. And uh, it's look uh, it's the accessory bag and it looks like it has all its connectors and power settings, power hookups, harnesses, 
uh, the antennas, power cord. They're using the XT60. Um, not sure if that's, I know it, it's HDMI capable, so I mean, you can actually put, uh, use these as like a little FPV viewer on your uh, monitor, in theory, I believe, with uh, uh, like your, your simulators and stuff like that. That might be really cool. That was another thing that attracted me to this, was that you could use it as a, uh, like a at-home cinema or FPV practice on your, on your simulator. Because it'll hook up to your computer and it's got HDMI in. And then these are the regular cables, hook it up a regular AV. Depending on your system, depending on your hookup. On, on your hookup. I'm sure there's more than one antenna. Yeah, they do give you two of these cheapies. At least they do have flex on them, so they do bend. That's good because this thing has, I, I guess, a tendency to pull them back once you've got it set up. So I plan on, set, on trying them out because one, full, you know, one put on there right and, and to the side at, at the right angle and one upward, you know, at the right angle could end up actually being pretty good. So we'll try them. We'll try them both. In fact, I'll try them with and without the uh, circular polarization as I'm flying around the house. And then I'll probably get some videos together because this one, unlike my other monitor uh, or goggles, has a DVR built in. It's a nice little unit there. It's five inch monitor. It's supposed to be 640 uh, by, 480, by 480, wait, 640, no, 800 by 480. Uh, pixels, which is not actually bad. So, uh, you should get a pretty good view. And one little toggle button on the back here does feel a little flimsy, and but you know, that's supposed to control everything. Uh, labels here for your AV in, labels here for your AV out. Okay, so yeah, AV in, you can run that right, and that's why I had an HDMI cable. A little mini HDMI cable so you can plug in you can plug into that I don't know how that would work hmm we'll have to read the instructions on that one. Oh, AVN because these are AV AVN and AV out cords okay but HDMI in I have to figure that part out anyway uh, I did grab a power cable here and a, and a battery that I should be able to hook up with an adapter. Now one thing they said to was to jiggle these a little bit, make sure that they're not loose. This is the version 2 and they supposedly corrected a problem where they had only one solder up there on the board and it was breaking off couldn't even repair it but now I guess they've actually bridged it and, and done two big solders on both sides that's supposed to reinforce it so if you drop it now you might break it but uh, not too many people try to drop their their FPV equipment this I found okay let me uh, pause this for a second we'll start getting it set up you know what better yet while I'm pulling this out you guys get to see it because this is what you're gonna see when you're pulling it out of the box and you're checking it out for the first time you know, they don't do it that way on the uh, the previews of this product. You know, they just kind of all of a sudden, everything's laid out perfect and everything. Okay, but we'll still end up laying it out pretty good. We'll put our knife away to keep ourselves safe here. And then later on, we'll, uh, I'll get some video of the inductors flying around and see how the DVR works on this thing. And then see what the picture quality is. I'll set up a camera and, you know, move the inductors around the house and stuff, fly around the house and have the camera on the uh, on the monitor and get to see what the picture looks like. That'll be a different video once I learn how to use this thing. Okay, this is pretty cool. It's not heavy at all. It looks like it'd be pretty comfortable. And I see I'm looking at like at a mirror. They've got plastic coverings and, and stuff on there to protect it. I can't see anything here. But you know what I can see, and this is my first test here guys is to see if I can just stand here and not fall over and that's with the the guard on now if I have if I were to have a problem with that I guess this guard I wasn't doing too bad with that wasn't doing too bad with that 
Uh, but I guess this guard can come down and be removed, and then you still just you, you get to see in there, and it's still shaded, but you'll see a little bit more. The pl the rubber part comes off. Uh, this 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 part just slides right off, and then you still get to see it shaded, and uh, yeah, that might work. That might work work out just fine. In the meantime, it's a pretty cool periscope. <laughs> I have to figure out how that comes off of there. There's probably a little, little button here. But before I break anything, now that looks like a power cable. Okay, so here's what you get initially. Nice foam padding, guys. You know, very, very comfortable foam. It's almost like, uh, it's really almost a fabric. In fact, it may be. I think it's almost like a micro, a microfiber fabric uh, over foam but very nice comfortable fitting and with these uh, with these deals on here that's your that's your uh, battery holder back there so we can put the battery back there and that makes it nice and, nice and comfortable let's offer a little bit little ba little balance if you feel it's a little head forward that's not bad let's see what it feels like with the unit on there Not bad at all. And you're looking straight forward at it, guys, so you don't feel like you have to be doing this. You don't have to do the Stevie Wonder. Now, this will work. I think uh, we're going to get them powered up, and then we'll give you guys some uh, some displays and, and show you the ropes. Right now, I don't know enough to teach you anything about it, but it is like a pretty cool unit for less than $150 that I paid. You can get here. here here's your uh, HDMI in. Yeah, HDMI in, right there. Cool. It actually looks like it's got a USB, but that's the other other port to the HDMI, so I can run my cable right from my HDMI on my computer out of the graphics card probably right to this. Play my games. That would be awesome. Do a little FPV practice on the computer before you go out and crash the real stuff, right? And it's got a place here for memory stick. Okay, so you put your own memory stick, does not come with one. And uh, there's a little mini HDMI port down here. I'll have to find out what all this stuff is. But I'll be a little bit more informed by the time I do the next video. In any case, very nice case, guys. Even the, even the padding and stuff in here is heavy duty. Uh, you know, would take a drop. Um, real thick foam, real thick foam. Nice little, nice little pouch up here. Looks like it's Velcro. It'll, it'll go anywhere you want it. So if you don't, don't like where they've put it, you can put it down there. You know, anywhere you want. That looks fine to me. Has a little service card. A couple little scannable things here. Facebook. But uh, yeah, all in all, I think for 150 bucks, guys, over 40 channels. Uh, including all the race bands, uh, so it'll work with Spectrum. It'll work with Boscam. It'll go, it'll work with you know some of the off brands, you know some of the cheaper like that. I buy those little micro sixteen dollar cameras that I put on the micros. They work great. They actually really have a pretty good picture, and a couple of them have a pretty high like two hundred milliwatt output. So you know you don't really get a much much breakup, and with diversity, I think it's going to be kind of cool. These usually are a joke, but we're going to try them, like I say, at a different angle, different angles, and see how that works. And then I'm going to put the uh, circular polarized on there and uh, try that too. Thanks for watching. This is Skip. We'll catch you later. This is the FX Vipers, guys. They're, they're actually pretty cool, guys. Not bad. Like you say, if you want to just pull it out and hand it and just look at it as a monitor, or you've got a bystander, you just hand it to them, let them look at it, let them watch. Next time around, I'll fire it up and uh, we'll get the little inductrix and, and show you the picture, okay? Have a good one. Catch you shortly.